Hey everybody. Hi guys, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back at Disneyland. We're here for Oogie Boogie's Bash. Yeah. Um, so this is the first time that this has been happening. So we're gonna experience this with you. Yes. Come with us on this adventure. Some of you might be thinking to yourself, what the heck is Oogie Boogie's Bash? Well, let me tell you, it's a special ticketed event. It's around $110 per ticket, and it goes from September 17th, we're here on opening night, until October 31st. There's special shows, special meet and greets, and you get a bunch of candy, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And it's one of the only occasions where adults can dress up. Look at how cute the cast member costumes are. They gave us a map, which shows you everything that they have in store for the evening. Every store that's open, every meet and greet, all the shows, all the treats. Very important, the trick-or-treating trails, that's where you get all the candy. They have meet and greets with a lot of like characters that normally aren't seen about the parks. This year there's some characters that have never been seen before. Like for example, there's the Kingdom Hearts video game character, so it's gonna be I think like Goofy, Mickey, Minnie all dressed in their Kingdom Heart outfits. Yeah. Lines for sure are gonna be long for that. Um, there's I noticed that there's friends from the Disney Channel. I'm hoping the Chippendale Rescue Rangers are there. I'm excited about Oogie Boogie himself. Because yeah. it's his bash. Yeah. So we gotta go find him. Yeah, rumor has it that he's out there somewhere and we will find him. And there is a special uh, Halloween edition of World of Color that has never been seen before until tonight. Uh, so we got to check that out as well. There's a lot of exciting things. Let's, let's go get ourselves in trouble. You really do need to download this Disneyland app because the wait times aren't actually on the map. It tells you to get the app and look on the app. All right, we've been here literally five minutes and somehow Peter already found a Halloween treat that he wanted. Yeah, we're in Clarabelle's. I want this hard apple cider thingy. It looks amazing. Basically, it's a hard apple cider with a, what is it? I think it's like a scoop of ice cream and then like a caramel drizzle. It does look really good. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. Looks like a caramel apple. I, I was going to put a paper straw in there, but Kitra said, don't you want to drink it and get the caramel on your lips? So, yeah. so here I go. I did get caramel on my lips. It's good. I mean, it's basically just apple cider with, what is this, like apple sorbet? Yep. Yeah. I want this to melt in there and I feel like when it's a mix around, that's gonna be like amazing. I think that's what you, I think that's what it's meant for. Oh, yum. Yeah. yeah. It's sweet and tart at the same time. I think it was like $15. <laughs> okay, this is more like, like an ice cream float of some kind. <laughs> is it for the merchants? Uh, which one are you looking for? I don't know, is that a party merch or no? We have some um, in here actually like this. What Disney event would not be complete without the spirit jersey? You better <laughs> believe they got him here. This is the front. It's got some villains. Yeah, what's on the back? On the back, what does it say? Oh, it's good to be bad. I wonder if this glows in the dark. And then more villains down here. So here we have a t-shirt. The interesting thing about this is I flipped it over to see the back and it says First Fright. Ooh, Oogie Boogie ears. Wow, they've got a lot of stuff for this event. They, they have an ornament? Yeah, do we need this for our Halloween tree? This could be our first ornament for the Halloween tree. Oh, here's the annual pass holder exclusive t-shirt. It's a long sleeve? Oh, it's like a, a jersey, like a three-quarter length sleeve. It glows in the dark. Anything on the back? Pass holder. You gotta let everyone know you're a pass holder. Oh no. Oh, 
How cute is this? Oh, and he has a dice in his hand? Yeah. Boogie Boogie Bash. Oh, it is for this event. Yeah. I like him. I want to see what he looks like when it gets dark out. They have a regular t-shirt for $24.99. And this, uh, what do you call this? I don't know. I think this is like, it's like velvet. If ears aren't your thing, they also have baseball caps. Yeah. They also have this hoodie, but it's like a very thin material. This is only a five hour long event. And I'm already kind of stressed out because we've been here 45 minutes. We have no candy. <laughs> and I don't even have a drink yet. So we got to get going. Yeah. Definitely filling. What is going on here? Do you guys? Oh my God. <laughs> it's heavy. It's heavy. You should fill the bag with the fillings and it's super heavy. <laughs> oh my God, really? Yeah. Wow. All right. Have a good one. Enjoy. Thanks. I've tried it. It's pretty. It's yeah. super good. I love yeah. it. Awesome. Uh, this is the caramel apple churro. We're keeping with the caramel apple theme tonight. It's not quite what I thought it was going to like. I don't know. The picture didn't show this just like big slab of apples <laughs> in here. It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Tastes like, it, more, it tastes more like an apple pie churro. But that's not a bad thing. Okay, next up, we're going to the Art of Animation building. I've heard this is where we can find Oogie Boogie. Listen. One of the new things that they're doing at this Halloween party is they're doing these immersive treat trails where you get candy and you get to see characters, too. Hi. There you go. Thank you. She only gave me two pieces of candy. What the heck? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is great. I like that you don't have to stand in line to meet him. I mean, you stand in line to get candy, but this is great. Let's go, let's go, keep it moving. Man, they like really want us to keep moving, but I just want to stand here and watch him forever. No, no, look at that outfit. It's awful. Boogie Boogie is incredible. Why, why do they not have him as a character meet and greet? All, like during Halloween yeah, normally. Yeah, I've never seen him before. This is like so great. If you're wondering how many pieces of candy you can get from a trick-or-treat trail. One, two. Six, 16 pieces, not bad. It should be noted that there was no sign telling us that Oogie Boogie was gonna be in there. So there's other villains spread out around in these trick-or-treat tales. And I think for science, we need to go to every single trick-or-treat tale find every single villain. Right, Peter? Yes. Okay. <laughs> One worm's dice. Yay, there you go. Thank you so much. This is the worms and dice and everything nice. It's a lime and Midori slush with some uh, Oogie Boogie Glow Cubes, and it was $21. Oh, and a gummy worm. Can't forget <laughs> the gummy worm. How is it? Oh, no. <laughs> this tastes like candy. This well, is so good. That's dangerous. Oh, my gosh. It's a Midori slushy. So good. I love Midori. I know you love Midori. If you like Midori Sours, this is your drink. This is awesome. And these dice are so cool. Nighttime has fallen across the land. Happy Halloween. So it's cool they're doing projections on top of the Carthay Circle Theater. I, I feel like they should be doing that all year long at night. And Goofy from Kingdom Hearts was posing over by the waterfall. Um, and people are, there's a, a huge line for that. Pandemonium. People were losing <laughs> their mind over Goofy. Well, we found a spot for the frightfully fun parade at the last second. So never give up on your dreams. I'm excited <laughs> for this parade. For years, Walt Disney World had the Headless Horseman and we didn't. A few years ago, we got them here in California. And I, it's a great way to start a parade. Everyone, party, 
So we ran right from the parade over to World of Color because we want to catch the new World of Color villainess. Put your minds at ease. 
If you relax a will be to do it. Lord of the Dead! Choked up since I got a hunt on Lusaka, caught in my throat. Was this an audience or a mosaic? Hey, how you doing? Looking good, nice dress. <laughs> Listen, I kid, I'm not sure what you're looking for down here, frankly. Don't care, don't have time to deal with you. How'd you like to go on a small boat ride? So that was Villainous. Uh, what did you think of the new World of Color? You know, it was not quite what I was expecting, but I thought it was really cute. And we were standing in the front row, so we got <laughs> drenched. <laughs> yeah, we're so wet, we didn't use our regular camera, thank God. Yeah. Um, I will say that I was a little underwhelmed by this. The whole story with uh, Shelly Marie, which is a, a, a great tribute to uh, Frankenstein author, uh, Mary Shelley. Uh -huh. um, it was kind of boring, but the character sequences, like once it got to the Disney animated sequences, yeah. it, was, it was fun. It was cute. Yeah. I love that they have this just like random character spot. You've got the big bad wolf, King John, and then the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he just did that like I'm Shoot watching you away. thing. I know. He's very like, does not want us over there. <laughs> So much talking. Where's his? He's never around when you need him. Just tell me to kiss his ring. Go kiss his ring. He's not even wearing any rings. You gotta kiss his hand. Where are I, oh, kiss your hand or your ring? Oh, well, he had to take off his rings because oh. Robin Hood took them last time. <laughs> We're about to enter Villain's Grove, which which has been described to me as like a scare zone by Disney. It's like Halloween Horror Nights, but Disney. This is pretty scary for like a Disney thing. <laughs> Look, there's the Shutter Cat. Good use of the space 
I honestly though was expecting there to be candy in here and also villains. No one wants to walk on that. I'm gonna do it. Are you gonna do it? Doing it! Oh my god, look at this. Like the lasers in the trees. Like I'm not sure if this looks as cool on screen as it looks like walking through it. Feels like I'm like walking through like a Tron forest. I'm trying to get like in the lasers. <laughs> for that awesome photo, but I can't get in there enough. So that was not quite what I thought it was going to be. It was it was kind of an immersive like walk through experience. Like you're walking through these different areas inspired by the villains. Yeah, I love that it wasn't like in your face. Like you kind of had to stand there for a second to realize what villain you were encountering. I think we need some characters in there. Yeah. But I'm not sure if this translates on onto that's a video, but walking through this, it, like projection and light technology that they're using in here was just incredible. Like every single corner looked like an Instagram of the whole place. Yeah. Look, there's vloggers in the wild. Oh. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Thank you, thank you! Wow. Is there, like no candy? Is there any way I could get Honestly, you're. Oh, girl, yes! Oh, yes. 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 I figured I was like, I'm gonna ask. It's almost closed. I'm I mean, gonna ask. Might as well, right? Girl, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> yes. Happy Halloween. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good evening, peasants. <laughs> yes, you may bow. Welcome. Now. I just need a few more ingredients for my potion this evening. I need the black of night. Provided! And a stream of fright! Ah! Louder! Ah! Yes! I need an old hag's cackle. Louder. That will do. And mummy dust. I'll mix it well. Very soon, Snow White will emerge! Now be careful in these forests as you pass. You never know what's learned here. At first I thought that was like Dracula Mickey, but it's more of like Victorian. Happy Halloween! Hello, my dear. Are we all enjoying the celebration? Yes! Yes? Now which of you are ready to join the forces of evil? I am. I am. Scream with fright if you're ready. Woo! Excellent. Music to my horn. Woo! Now tell me, what news do you bring me of Princess Aurora? She's dead. 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 Really? Yeah. Last time I saw her, she looked very much alive. No. No. Or is that just the light of the evil? Both. Your hair isn't quite sunshine gold and lips aren't quite red as a rose now, are they? They have some rare characters here, like all the daytime, uh, Disney daytime afternoon characters. I really wanted to see Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but we missed them. But we did manage to see uh, Baloo and the other guy. From, from Tailspin. From Tailspin, which is, you never see these guys, so it was pretty awesome to see them. Uh, this is my, our friends Tim and Jen. Hello. Hi. W w this is your first uh, Oogie Boogie Bash. I feel like, yeah. all right, so that's the second time that somebody said this to us, but this is everybody's first yeah. Oogie yeah, Boogie Bash, right? Yeah, isn't this the first? It's the very first yes. one. Unless you guys have been before and you're not telling us something. Like. No. <laughs> you guys have a secret. Yeah. So w what did you guys think? This is awesome. I actually liked this better than the Disneyland Halloween party. And here's something that we didn't like touch on at all tonight, but I realized a little bit halfway through the night is 
Uh, Disneyland is a majority dry park. DCA is not. Oh yeah. So there I didn't are think people with like beers and stuff walking around, getting spooky. Yeah. It's, I really it's, didn't notice that at all. It's like a different level of event. So like across the way at Disneyland, that was more like younger. Yeah. But out here in DCA, they're like adults, please. But it's still very like family kid friendly. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't know. I had a really good time. I think the one thing I do miss is that we didn't try any of the food. I wish <laughs> we had tried the food. Yeah. So that was the one thing that if you come to the party, try some of the food and tell me how it is because I, I really want to know. <laughs> and it stinks because they're all sold out, but I feel like you should come multiple nights yes because there's so much to see and so much to do but you I don't can't think you it's can do totally it all sold night. out like this is like a uh, like you need to get your ticket in july apparently yeah so, so i think if you guys are planning to come to disneyland next year i think you should yeah you should do that. <laughs> we had an awesome time and yeah. we got to hang out with you guys yeah. yes this is really cool uh and I, i'm sure everybody that's watching us knows who you guys are but can you plug your channel no <laughs> well, our channel is well it's really your channel the tim tracker it's our channel on it's your channel okay our channel is the tim tracker on youtube yeah check us out if you want i don't know be cool <laughs> thanks guys thank, thank you. you the halloween party over here at dca is there's a lot more space yeah. disneyland is a little bit claustrophobic at times because you know it's built a long time ago yeah <laughs> He said he found it on the ground. Thank you. Yeah, so we all saw <laughs> you, buddy. Get, get out of here. We saw that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We're all up to no good, these crazy characters. What's happening? So that's why they aren't out in the park. That's why the Disney afternoon characters aren't allowed in, in the park. Yeah, they're too, like, crazy. So much candy. And we didn't even go in that many treat trails. Like, I can't imagine if we like were really on it, but towards the end of the night they were just giving handfuls of candy out, so that's a pro tip. Go at the end of the night and just ask them for lots of candy and they'll give you a bunch. You're in the way. Hi. Home. <laughs> We're home. Okay, so we just got back from Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, what did you think? I had a really fun time. I, I definitely enjoyed it better than uh, the Mickey's uh, Not So Scary Halloween Party that they normally do in Disneyland. Um, I really enjoyed the the villains and the treat trails. I feel like that was yeah really cool. One of the things I usually hate about these parties is you usually have these unique characters, but like there's hour and a half lines yeah. to meet them. But these villain treat trails got got a chance to see them yeah. without having to you know stand in long lines. Uh, people are probably wondering how much candy do you get oh. from one of these events. Uh, we didn't even get to do all the tree trails. Yeah. We were watching shows, as you saw, and stuff like yeah. that. I'm not even sure if people can see. Oh, wow. Wow. We got a lot of candy. <laughs> that is a ton of candy. Yeah. I just, I love that there's no, like, bad candy. Like, there's no Whoppers. There's no, like, Raisinets. Not that those are bad candies, but those are, like, the lower tier. You know what I mean? Like, this is all the good stuff. We did a lot and we didn't see even half of it. Yeah, I will say that is one negative thing. Like, the event was only five hours long and I constantly felt like we needed to, like, get going. Do this. Do yeah. that. You know, there wasn't... Which maybe is good. There's so yeah. much stuff to do that it's like you're never bored. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun. Yeah. I will say this. For $110, I'm not sure if it's worth five hours of a party, but... Uh, would I go back next year? Yes. Yeah. We'll be back next year. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, if you like this video, please consider subscribing below. If you want to see more of our adventures to Disney for Halloween time, here's a video for you right here. Right yes. here. Continue on and, uh, and watch yes. that video. Uh, make Gizmo happy. Yes. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure. <laughs>